Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. And today is gonna be a good one. I'm going solo on one of the most competitive servers in Rust. In hindsight, probably not one of the best ideas, but I hope you guys enjoy my pain anyway. Now, I'm gonna try and have as chilled out of a time that a solo can, while also giving away some of the secrets that I use to help me become a more successful solo. So you're not gonna wanna miss out on that. So my journey began like most others, with nothing but a rock and a torch. The server I was playing had reset just two hours before, giving all other players and clans a head start over me. It was gonna be tough to catch up, but I was pretty excited the map was buzzing, shots were going off everywhere, and I was keen to jump into the chaos. I immediately gathered the cloth and wood to craft myself a bow and arrows. Sometimes I would just start off by crafting an axe, but on a server like this, I was gonna need a way to defend myself. Uh oh. Crunch. Oh shit, it's a Jackie. After some incredible luck and finding myself a jackhammer, I now had an incentive to start farming for my base. That was a that was a jackhammer delivery right there. Amazon Prime stuff. Holy I don't know what he was trying to do. I continued farming nodes while heading as far into the island as I could, getting as much distance between myself and the fresh spawn beaches on the coast. This way I can avoid dealing with too many primitive players and grubs constantly shooting me in the back with bows and spears. Okay, so where am I feeling for my boat? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Now I had the decision of finding the location for my base. I was instantly drawn to the south of the map. There were four monuments compacted into four tiles, with launch site nearby. It was going to be competitive and very chaotic, but I was prepared. Oh my gosh, I can hear satchels going off already. Right, I'm kind of loaded, so what do I need? Building plan, door, I'll right, we'll go with that skin, key lock. And I got the hammer, and then I should be pretty much ready. Just need a tool cupboard too. Don't want to waste too much time farming. No, oh, that's a bear. I'm going to kill it. Come here, yogi. Fuck you. Oh, that was so worth it. Now I can get a furnace as well. Oh god, I'm not messing around. Gotta get a base up. With a full inventory of resources on such a high pop server, I knew I couldn't waste time looking for the perfect spot. I had to throw my starter base down wherever I could. It was likely this wouldn't be my final base location, but as long as it could help me get a start, I could eventually move. Okay, just a one by one. This will do. Just one by two. This is not going to be my final base, so I'm just going to throw it down. So that's wood, stone, door, key lock. Ceiling on, and then I just need a tool cupboard, and I'm good. But let's get the box down. Alright. Well, that has been a very smooth start. Uh, let's pick up a key lock. That's all I need. Hey, I am secure. Okay, that was a quick start. Let's get right to it. With a tool cupboard down and my starter base secure, I wanted an idea for the lay of the land. First, heading to Sat Dish, testing the water to see if it could be a viable monument for me to loot throughout the wipe. Did not mean to run out with my furnace still crafting, oh well. Okay, so there are a lot of players around here and not a lot of nodes. Someone's doing Arctic with Thompsons. Oh gosh. 
Uh, this guy is online, right next to us. Fire our across you though. Okay, let's see what I can do. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay, well, it looks like I'm already dead. Oh, the other guy saw me. Well, that's not good. With plenty of neighbors close by, and immediately getting crushed by highly geared players in Sat Dish, this area wasn't looking too promising. But I wasn't going to give up on it just that easily. Gosh, that is really close. Now you guys know me, and I don't normally build airlocks for quite a while because I'm lazy. But on this server, I felt like it was pretty important. Before doing any PvP roaming, it's always important to get enough farm in your base that you can always craft backup tools. The worst thing that can happen is losing all of your gear and having to resort to farming with a rock and a torch. I decided to give Satellite Dish another try, but I chose not to bring any weapons or tools, as there was a solid chance I was going to die to the same large group. Instead, my plan was to run in, grab some components and scrap quickly, and get out of there before running into any players. Spring, nice. Sheet metal. Alright, let's get this recycled, and just run straight home. Pipes, that's good. I need that. I'm gonna keep those. I'll get the rope recycled though. He is nice. Low risk, small, efficient scrap runs like this are key to progressing quickly as a solo player, especially on these highly competitive servers. If I die, it's not a problem. It doesn't frustrate me because I didn't lose anything. But, in just a couple of minutes, I can run home with over a hundred scrap and plenty of components. I effectively can't lose. Oh my gosh, that guy is naked AK. Interesting. What the hell is going on, man? Oh, he's coming my way. No, -uh. I'm out. Just avoided them. And so, after a couple of quick runs, I had enough to craft myself a workbench along with a crossbow. Hey, this is good. This has not been a bad start. I got the scrap. Already got some comps. I must get some sulfur cooking, because why not? I think we're looking good. Let's get a crossy crafted. Probably just gonna lose it straight away, but may as well. Go with the tempered skin today. And because it would be wrong not to got to get the panda bear rope. And of course, it wouldn't be a Wiljam wipe without a bear rug. But all jokes aside, having a bear rug as a solo can be really helpful, giving me 100% comfort and allowing me to heal to full health without having to waste any cloth on bandages. Of course, you could use other things like a chair or a sofa for the same effect, but I like my bear rugs. So far, Satellite Dish had been working out for Scanning properly first to make sure there were no large groups already there. Solar panel. That's nice. Could set up some uh, bait. Oh, that <laughs> crate literally just respawned. Okay, we recycle, we get out. We just rinse some repeat, man. It works. I always like to keep pipes and blades early game. Pipes for double barrels and revolvers, and blades for salvage tools. Ah, uh, do I want to recycle the rope? No, I don't actually. No, no. Oh, shit, too late. Wait, no. <laughs> Fuck. I did not mean to do that, man. Oh, well. Another successful scrap. I decided now I wanted to explore in a different direction, potentially finding a better spot for my main base. I want to kill that scientist, but I need cover. Oh no, it's gone behind the bush. Oh, and it's shooting me. Okay, dude. No, I can't see it, dude. Oh, fucking blue dudes, man. What is this game? <laughs> it's invisible. Oh my god. I, what do I do? What do I do? It's just sitting in the bush. Oh my. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, and I died because of it. Okay. Dying in Rust sucks, but I like to use it as an excuse to progress further. By respawning somewhere else on the map, it gives me a chance to start over in a different area with different opportunities, sometimes leading to greater things. And in this case, it led me to explore this supermarket. A giant clan compound base nearby is a good sign that there won't be too many other players contesting it, because they're all too scared. But not me. With the insanely high respawn rates of crates on high pop servers, I knew that I'd be able to consistently loot this supermarket for scrap every time. This could be a good spot to keep in mind for my new base. If I can make this run home, that would be uh, pretty huge. Alright, I'm gonna get a bag down right here so I can always respawn here and loot supermarket really quickly. Oh gosh, there's. Oh! A couple of them up the hill. These guys better not chase. This <laughs> guy's so weird, man. Let me go! I just wanna get home! Ooh, ice pick. Okay, dude. It's quite nice. Oh no, this guy better not get on his roof now. Oh no, no! Oh my gosh, I'm okay. Okay, bro, this is server is crazy, man. I can't go two seconds without getting shot. I just want to go home. After almost dying multiple times, I finally made it home. And that confirmed it. I had no choice but to move. The area I lived was simply too chaotic. As a solo player, you should never be afraid to move base, even hours into your wipe. Sometimes it can lead to a much better experience. But it's always best to leave it till nighttime to use the safety of darkness to transfer loot. And so I continue to roam from this base for the rest of the day. Well, I got a nail gun. I can at least defend myself against the grubs now. Oh, that was nice. Thank you, Yogi. What you doing? Get out of here. I have my boonie hat on. Okay, well that was a good run. Got some farm and animal fat. Storage. That for the furnace. Ooh, that guy's been farming. Come on. Have the juice for me. Oh, come on. After getting some farming done, I respawned at the bag I placed by the supermarket. And once again, it was full of loot. I now knew that this monument was where I wanted to build nearby. This supermarket is crazy, man, because this server's so high pop, the crates are spawning so fast. But because of that clan base, no one's coming here to loot. It's just so free. I got a chair. Let's go. Okay, it's turning nighttime, so I think now would be a good time to try and get this new base up. If I can get a tool from that toolbox, I might just try and build a base now, but it's unlikely. Right, come on, let's see it. Oh, no fucking way, dude. Let's go! Okay, right. Fuck it, I'm building a base. After finding the pickaxe from a toolbox, I had everything I needed to start farming for my new base. Now, I just needed to find the right spot. I didn't need to build too close to the supermarket, as I could have bags nearby that I could respawn at if I ever wanted to loot it. So I headed a little bit further in the other direction, deep into the snow, to create as much distance between me and the larger compounds and any other grubs. There are so many bases around here, man. What about over here? Oh, you know what? This is a kind of... This is quite a nice spot. 
I mean, there are some big compounds, but... Oh, there's another one down there as well, dude. But, wow. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I love the view. Alright, just triangle square starter, the classic. We get a single door, get that wood, and the rest are stone. Right, I don't have enough wood for a tool cupboard, which I probably should have farmed for first, but I think I'll be alright. Ah, well, that feels good, having another base down. Yeah, I just need to farm one tree, and then I can get my tool cupboard down. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, here come the big boys. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm dead here. <laughs> They're gonna kill me, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are. Not like this! Bruh. Okay, dude. As long as I don't find my base. Despite moving, it was clear that I was still not safe from the groups, which was to be expected on a server like this. However, I preferred my odds against occasionally running into some larger groups than being somewhere infested with grubs and primitive players. And so, with the foundations of my new base built, I used the cover of nighttime to transfer all of the loot from my old base. Dying now would mean losing all of the progression I'd made since the start of wipe. I won't lie, my butt is very clenched. I think I'm gonna make it. I'm almost there. Ah, oh, let's go, dude. Made it home. Oh, wait. I, I might need a tool cover, though. This could be a bit important. Right, I need to go home to see. Ah, oh, thank gosh for that. The Rust Gods had spoken, and I was spared. With the tool cupboard down and all of my loot secure, I was ready to live my new life in my new home. The rust gods must be smiling on me today. Alright, let's get a double door. Alright, we're looking good. Home. Look at that view, man. This this base is in a cool spot. I'm loving it. I had noticed a compound down the hill with large furnaces, but it seemed inactive. I thought I'd head over and see if I could jump in. Oh no, they're smart. They put the electrical components so I can't build up. Ah, that's really irritating. Yeah, that's that's very frustrating. Come on. It's not possible. I... Yeah, I definitely can't jump over that. Nah, no way. I spawned at my old base once again and collected the last of the loot that I'd left over. One more run, and everything would be secure. Alright. I don't want anything left in here. I hate this base. I hate this spot. Let's get it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, if I had died right there. This fucking game, man. I <laughs> After narrowly avoiding death, I made the move. Come on, don't get jumped now. Hey. I made it with all the loot. Somehow, I, I was... <laughs> I was expecting to die. Alright. And settled into my new home, I made the first run to the supermarket. Ooh, compound bow. I might actually learn that. And get up to some funny business. Just because it was a supermarket that I was looting this white, doesn't mean that it will be the same for you. 
The trick is to find a monument that players on the server have overlooked. This will change from map to map, and sometimes it just takes some exploration before you find that perfect spot. Wow, 150 scrap that easily. And just like that, under an hour into the server, spending most of it either dying or moving base, I built up enough scrap for a tier 2. All thanks to the power of small, efficient runs. Right, now I don't actually have any tier 2 blueprints, so I'm not gonna bother crafting it just yet. Maybe later though. After heading out to farm some wood, I'd noticed a skirmish breakout near the arctic base. I hung around and waited to see if any players isolated themselves, allowing me to try and pick them off. I'm pretty sure I just saw a guy run off this way on his own. I might be able to pull something off on this guy. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, this is perfect. He's coming right towards me. Nice. Oh, he saw. Come here. Oh, he's running. He's gonna die. Best fucking go, dude. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. I'm god. I think I just left a bunch of fuses, but I don't care. What the fuck? And after making sure no one was watching me, I jumped back in base. With all of the loot, mine. Holy. That is... 10 fuses? Wait, 20 fuses? I didn't even see the comps! 11 sheet metal? My gosh, dude. With this much loot and only one door between me and the outside world, I knew I needed to build an airlock as soon as I could. Oh my gosh, okay, I need an airlock because I feel like he might know I live here. Here goes. God, I'm scared, dude. I'm so vulnerable in here, man. Okay. So I'm just gonna build another square. Bro, why is there so much shooting going on all the time? Oh, okay. Oh, well. I think I'm good. For now, at least. And with a real airlock, I could finally breathe and take inventory. Oh, 24 feet of rope. I can make so many compound bonus now. Let's fucking go. So by placing a bag next to a small box next to a large box, I can just walk all the way up without, like, doing a jump, which is nice. Ah, okay, dude. Feels good. While getting the SAR home was great, I was more excited about the water pipe shotgun. Allow me to explain. See, unlike the rifle that has a high cost and high risk attached to using it, the water pipe was a cheap gun that I could craft plenty of, yet still gave me the killing power to take down highly geared players. It's the perfect weapon for a solo player like myself. And with the compound bow also learnt that gives me range, I had a good loadout to take down most players. Three thousand wood, that'll do. I would love a metal hatchet right now though. No matter what throughout a wipe, it's always important to keep your furnaces going, making sure you have backup wood and metal ore throughout. As later on in wipe, when you're crafting more and more guns, metal is going to become pretty important. Okay, I've got some stone, but I could do with getting even more metal. I might go out one more time go for a couple more nodes. Well, that should definitely do me. I think it's time to go back to uh, supermarket again. 
As the area around me quietened down, I headed back to the supermarket for another quick scrap run. I can't believe I literally haven't run into anyone at the supermarket yet. It's like in the middle. Ooh, a computer station. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I necessarily need it, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Oh, nice. Fuse and a laptop. Huge. This just got 80 scrap from those two crates. Oh my god, another 180 scrap. One quick run. Oh, come on. Get me in. Ah. Let's go, dude. Huge. I love that. 500 scrap again. Living so close to the Arctic base, it felt wrong that I hadn't at least tried to run it yet. And so I grabbed my compound bow and plenty of arrows to see if I could snipe the scientists off from a distance. Right, I'm just going to pray that the scientists don't actually shoot at me. Because if they do, I'm kind of screwed. Oh, come on, they still shoot me? That is very annoying. Unfortunately, despite being hundreds of meters away, the scientists still shot at me. The problem being that this would undoubtedly attract at least one of the groups that live nearby, making it pretty much impossible for me to loot while the scientists had spawned. Oh shit. Oh my god, this is huge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm so fucked, man. <laughs> oh, that's AK and Thompson. Okay, dude. Yep. Yep, okay. Despite killing one of them, it was pretty clear I wasn't going to be able to take on the other two full metal AK kids. I moved off and went to go farm some animals. Come here, Yogi. No, don't run away. Oh, damn it. Please just let me kill you. No, don't run. Fuck. Oh, here we go. Ow. Ow. Ah! Okay, there we go. Okay, that was good. Got some animal fat. The, uh, the bear meat cooking. I love that you can't burn meat anymore. It's so helpful. Son of a bitch. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, look at that view, man. <laughs> Sunrise, launch site in the distance, icy mountain, rockets going off, bro. This server's crazy, man. I'm on the edge of the world. <laughs> How do I always have a view? I don't even mean to do it. I just always end up building on like the edge of some mountain or something. But I love it. Alright, we got some wood. That's a rocket launcher. Am I... Am I about to get raided? 
Holy shit, dude. It appeared that my base wasn't getting raided. For now. But having full metal rocket launchers run right past my stone 2x1 made me realize it was probably time to expand. Okay, I think it's probably time to get some stone. Oh my, is that my base? No, no, I don't think it is. Oh shit, they're raiding the big compound. I tried to jump in. That's crazy. Oh, this is gonna be bad. With a big rocket raid going off just a couple of hours into wipe, right next to my base, I knew that this area was gonna become a hot spot pretty soon. I did some base upgrades while I still could, and prepared for the onslaught. Alright, I'm gonna have to upgrade now because next thing I know there are gonna be hundreds of counters. This is probably gonna get messy. But, it'd be a good time to put my uh, compound bow to use. <laughs> Some grubbing. Okay, got that metal. Gonna get that upgraded as well. You know what, I... Mm, I feel like I should honeycomb that metal. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> Get inside. I added a layer of stone honeycomb to cover up the metal walls. Stone is often less appealing to raid than metal. As raiders assume, metal walls mean you have more loot. Right, I think it's better that they don't know that I've upgraded to metal. I feel like I'm more likely going to get raided if I do. I need more stone. Oh, okay, they are already shooting at me. That's a problem. It's an LR. Oh. Someone right outside. And after upgrading my base to the point that I was happy with for now, it was time to see if I could do some grubbing on the big raid. Alright, let's see if I can do something. Pretty unlikely, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, this is huge. No! Oh, I needed the headshot, man. Fuck! That is a shame. Oh, okay, yep, there's more than one. Ah, oh, angles, man, I couldn't see him. Oh my, okay, yeah, they're pre-aiming my door. At this point, the counters were holding my front door. There wasn't much I could do, and so I respawned at my bag next to the supermarket in an attempt to get some free scrap. Well, uh, hopefully everyone's gonna be so busy <laughs> countering the raid that I'll be free to just loot this shit. Oh no. I bet that naked's just looted the entire supermarket. No crates, but at least I got all those barrels. Still managed to get a hundred scrap anyway. That bag down there. And after making it home to base with some more scrap, I'd realized that I'd built up enough to craft a level 2 workbench, along with researching slugs. This could be perfect for the big raid going on right now. And if you guys aren't aware, slug shells for shotguns are currently the most broken thing you can use in Rust. One headshot with a pipe, double barrel, or pump shotgun can full kill a wolf headdress or a hazmat, up to over 100 meters. It's pretty insane if you're a solo player like myself. It's practically a pocket bolt rifle that you can use with something as cheap as a water pipe shotgun. I am so ready to slug somebody here. Who is on their own? Oh, this guy is easy. Wait. Oh! 
I forgot to load a slug into my pipe. Fuck. I just... Oh, I just threw so hard, man. If that was a slug, he's dead. I'm such an idiot. Ooh, what's up? Okay. 20 bullets in a dream. One dead. I think there's only one more. I think. It does just sound like one has he. Ten bullets in a dream. Oh, oh, there were there were two more. Okay, never mind. I attempted going back a few more times, but there were simply too many players grubbing and fighting for me to possibly get out of there with any loot. And so, I returned to the supermarket once again for even more free scrap. And at this point, I think you guys seem to be getting the idea. Spawning at bags and doing no-risk scrap runs are the true OP solo strat. Uh. <laughs> okay. okay, dude. Something tells me that guy might be hacking. Just maybe. What the fuck? Oh, how did that not hit, man? Fuck. Oh, okay. He's just killed someone over here. No meds. No walls. Fuck. Oh, I'm so dead. Maybe the body up there has something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A wall! No! <laughs> we had a wall. That could have worked. The truth is, and something that I can't help you guys with, is that one of the biggest parts of being a good solo is having the mentality to keep going, even after rough death after rough death. At the end of the day, playing solo, it's inevitable. But you're gonna get beat down plenty of times. It's how well you're able to pick yourself back up that determines how well you're gonna do and why. Okay, I'm low health anyway. I might as well just uh, F1 kill. Go back to the supermarket. Night was falling as I completed another short supermarket scrap run. Despite not gaining much from the big raid, I wanted to head back one more time. I figured there must be some loot left over after the hundreds of players that had been fighting there just recently. Oh shit. <laughs> That's like all of the grub kids that I lost. <laughs> so funny. The nice thing was, I was able to get pretty much everything I'd lost while trying to counter the raid back to base. Oh well, at least I was able to get all that stuff home. It's kind of nice. Ooh, Arctic. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. I thought I just got a gun. I also just want to go ahead and apologize for how awfully my boxes were organized throughout this day. I feel like you guys are probably pretty mad at me, and I'm expecting a lot of angry comments about it. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Still people there. I'm going back. I'm gonna give it one more shot. 70 HP, pipe, slug in a dream. Oh. Could do something here. As long as they don't see me. What? How did that miss? No, I swear that hit him. Oh, come on, man. At this point in wipe, I could easily learn the SAR and start crafting them and trying to roam. But the truth is, on the first day of wipe on such a high pop server, roaming solo with a SAR is sort of a death wish. Which is why I like to spend my first day preparing for the rest of my wipe. Focusing on grinding scrap and components, along with wood and stone and all the rest of the farm. Meaning as the next days come, you've got plenty of resources to fund your high gear roaming. There's no reason to overextend yourself and put all your loot on the line when you don't have to. Instead, I preferred to just chill, lay back, and do some grubbing. And right now, the best thing I could do to prepare for the rest of Wipe 
was get my hands on a garage door. I took some of the components I'd stolen from earlier and recycled them at the supermarket. Okay, big, I need to go home with this. I'm seeing a lot of people around here getting raided and I'm getting a bit worried for myself. What I really needed to focus on now was preventing my base from getting raided in the first night. And so I headed out to farm some more. I'm actually heading to Arctic. Oh, someone's doing it with- Oh wait, no, never mind, holy shit. Did you just die? Oh no, there are too many scientists. No, nah, I, uh, I can't do that. Okay, good farming run. Got some stuff done. Get the furnace is loaded up again. I had some big plans for tomorrow, and so I put some of the scrap I'd built up towards learning the SAR and the 556 ammo. Something I would definitely need later on in Y. Alright, we got SAR and ammo. As I played later on in the night, I figured I would have a better chance of looting the Arctic base as the pop began to dwindle. Or at least, so I thought. Oh shit, because this is where I ran into my second encounter with the hacker, and I wasn't going to let him get away with it easily. Oh no, that's the hacker, dude. How has he not been banned? Look at him zooming around. Fuck it, I'm going to kill this guy. Fuck this guy's stupid hacks, man. God, he's just spinning around. Oh, good hit. Oh, that was so close. I almost killed him. Yeah, you better run. Oh my gosh, he's there now. Holy shit, he's got speed hacks as well. Where is he? Where the fuck's he gone? Oh my god, okay, he's over there now. Right. Fucking hell. Oh, this is terrifying. Where is he now? Oh no, he's coming. Oh fuck! Oh, one hit. Yo, I can kill him. Oh. <laughs> that is the worst player I've ever seen. Imagine. Oh, imagine dying while spin-botting, dude. As a player trying to advertise his cheats, he certainly wasn't doing the best job dying to me with a water pipe. Oh, that guy needs to invest in some better cheats, bro. That's so embarrassing for him. Imagine. Well, oh, we take that dub. Might not have got that much loot, but I love sitting down hackers. Get Komomo in here. Get him, get him out. And as my first night on the server was starting to come to an end, if I was going to have any chance surviving the night, I was going to need to upgrade my base further. I'm going to wing the base design today. That's nice and symmetrical. I'll take it. Rules on. Ceilings. Or key lock. Ooh, salvage axe. That is huge, actually. I needed that. Okay, if I can get this stuff recycled and home, I actually might have enough for learning the garage door right now, which would be good. Alright, let's see. 300 scrap. Good run. Alright, just gotta get this back to base and we're looking good.
Okay, what a way to end the day. It's been a, a very successful, uh, a very successful wipe day. My gosh, I've played less than four hours now, and I'm kind of loaded. I just gotta hope I don't get raided tomorrow. That would be a uh, very sad. Making a home with that final big run meant that I almost had enough scrap to learn the garage door. The last thing I planned on doing before calling it for the night. I learned what I could in the tech tree before heading back out. Oh, I'm gonna need a tiny bit more scrap. That's a shame. Oh well, I can just recycle the fuses, I guess. There we go, 10 fuses. It's always a good idea to upgrade your roof to armor. Preventing people from using splash to open up your entire core. It's also much cheaper than upgrading walls. Damn, I can't get over how good this game looks like in the snow, man. Whenever the sun's rising. What's this dude doing? You know what? I'm happy with how today's gone. I hadn't even intended to play today and I've ended up having a having a good start. Two hundred scrap. Let's get it home. Hey! Making it back with the scrap, I was finally able to learn the garage door. I crafted as many as I could and placed them all over my core. My base was finally strong enough to survive the night. If someone wanted to raid me, they'd have to invest at least. If someone wanted to raid me, they'd have to invest at least 15 rockets. Far more than any group would want to spend raiding a random solo with kilos. And if they were to do that, quite honestly, they can have my base because it's not worth the boot. I really hope this can kind of show people that you don't have to win all your fights to actually do well as a solo. You know, like I've lost plenty of fights today, but still I'm here. Loaded as fuck, learned a bunch of BPs, and I feel like it's something other people can do too. We need to encourage more solos into the world of Rust, man. We'll just fucking do it. Do a little false double door here. Trick any raiders. Okay. And so, just like that, in under four hours of playtime, as a solo on a full pop official server, I was able to successfully build up more than 1500 scrap while collecting important blueprints and building a secure base. A pretty successful start to hopefully a long and fruitful one. But I guess you guys will just have to subscribe and wait for the next episode to see what happens. All that said, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. And let me know if you learned something in the comments. If there's any important information you guys think I might have missed that can help other solos, make sure to leave that in the comments too. A massive thank you to my patrons for their ongoing support. Make sure to check out my Twitch, I'm now streaming regularly. And if you're looking for a solo only server, mine are always there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Wiljum. Ow. I get up off my bed just once, but it rained down on me.